All right, so this is my 2004 Toyota 4Runner um, V8 Sport Edition. Four wheel drive, um, it is silver. And uh, basically everything that I have done to this is um, we're just gonna start from the front, we're gonna go to the back. So basically I have this um, SRQ Fabrications uh, Predator Grill that were in the TRD Pro, 4Runner Tacoma Tundras and Sequoias. And um, I need to switch this badge around because it looks like a France flag and I'm not from France. Um, we also do have, um, I forgot what the brand of these are, but I'll have to either link them in the description or well, I'll be linking everything in the description, but I will definitely link these um, I'll show you all the wiring probably in another video, but basically, um, these three lights right here all light up, uh, the halos both light up, and, uh, the only thing that I don't like about these is that they come with headlights inside. Now, with my old stock ones, I got rid of them because they were yellowed, but I had very bright lights. You could see just about anything with them. And, um, that's, this is the whole front end. Nothing special yet. Um, I'm wanting to get some, maybe get some new, um, smoke fog lights because those are pretty yellowed. And, uh, you can see there's moisture inside of there. And, um, also the paint's fading. This, that's a pretty common issue on a lot of the silver forerunners is that the sun does get to them and uh, fades the paint. Um, all right, let's move on. So, suspension. So, what I'm rocking right now is BF Goodrich KO2s. Um, let's see. You can see that right there. You're rocking 285-7017s. And the rims are um, Fuel Rebels. Um, keep in mind, these are these are just for looks. These are not real bead locks. Uh, real bead locks will be coming in the future, but I was kind of broke at the time. And um, if you can see back there, I have a one and a quarter inch spacer, and I have um, I have a three inch Rough Country lift. Uh, stock control or yes, yeah, stock UCAs, um, stock um, lower control arms, and basically everything else is just is just stock, which will definitely change in the future. Um, from here as well, um, I do have these are Muff Signal. I guess that's the brand of them, but um basically they're like tow mirrors oh my god oh no i'm messing up even more okay but basically they come with the turn signals whenever you turn your turn signals on um i do have a roof rack on the top this is just a little cheap amazon roof rack you can you can get these anywhere they're only like i think like 125 dollars and um i have the extended one it's like a extension that goes from here to here and um this is the inside um i do have aftermarket um interior lights um do have a sunroof right there it got dark but yes i do have a sunroof right here um i have a basically it's just a it's just a tablet basically it's basically just like an Android tablet. Um, I do need to fix the brackets inside of there because it, after, you know, after a while driving it, it does that. Um, basically, these, all this right here, all this little stuff on the trim, uh, you would, if you are a forerunner or a fortune forerunner owner, you would definitely see or say, hey, that's not stock. But basically, these are just little stick-ons. Like, you, you just cut them, and then they just stick on. 
Oh, I just did that because I got tired of that silver look. It looks old as shit. And um, I do have a microphone um, for the radio. And um, go ahead and... Yes, she's very old. We got 315,000 miles. Um, this is a screen. And yes, I uh, do also have to replace these this side of the uh the dashboard and black leather seats we have um sorry for the mess this is a daily driver so please do not be mad but got the black weather techs um the dash is also cracked i know that they make um they're like 50 dollars, and they make like replacements for them and you literally just stick them on on top of this because i've heard that getting one of like just this replaced and you can see how bad it is it's cracked all through but basically you have to take apart your whole um basically have to take like your whole center console off just to be able to get to pull this out not to mention you have to take the windshield out so yeah i'm not really trying to spend that or do all that work and um yes i do not have my rear view mirror I know some pe some of you gonna say that's illegal as fuck, but I I've just gotten used to driving it. It without it, it did fall off whenever I uh, first bought it. So that's that. Um, nothing special about the back seats. Um, nothing nothing special. Just a stock Forerunner in the back. Um, we have. Um, American flag on the on the back window here. Um, we do have aftermarket tail lights. Um, they're basically the same as the stock ones, except I wanted to go for that kind of blackish look, so basically it just adds a black trim all around it. Um, yes, that's the license plate, 205 Forerunner. Hopefully the tag will come in for that. That is the Instagram. If y'all want to go check that out, um, link will be in the description. And here's what I was talking about too, is that the paint just comes off. Um, but let's go ahead and the same thing on the other side. Um, yeah, Moose Signal USA, they sell those. But let's go ahead and, oh yeah, this is what the uh, headlights look like. Um, I've heard that this light does actually turn on but I have not figured out how that works. So those are them. You can see the halo lights up. Um, those are the other ones here, whatever. Same thing with the other side. And you can see how faded those are. And also that's cracked. So definitely gonna be getting uh, either new fog lights or a new front bumper in general. Um, I'm thinking about the new project for this 4Runner is um, taking this fender off right here, taking this off. Um, they do make like kind of more of like Baja kind of kind of kind of fenders. So a uh, link to those will also be in the description. Um, it'll just basically it'll just come out, give it more clearance, and. Um, possibly a new bumper because it definitely 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 needs it and um yeah let's go ahead and get under the hood um then we'll start it up so let's go ahead and pop this hood see how everything works under here all right so, this is the engine, um, same engine that goes in the uh, first generation, or uh, not Tacomas, Tundras. Um, basically, with the headlights, is really all it is is just simple splicing. Um, like I said, I'll get into that in another video, and uh, I will also explain how this grill is mounted as well. So. Yes, um, I do know that my engine is very muddy. Uh, when I first bought the car, I did go mudding in it, and um, I'm kind of scared to take a pressure washer to it, so 
yeah let's just say a uh, pressure washer is probably not going to it anytime soon so also there is a little bit of a i don't know if y'all can see that there's a little bit of a gap i stuck my finger through there there is a little bit of gap between the um headlight casing and the hood so yes this is my 2004 Toyota 4Runner.